Good morning. Uh, today I'm starting my day out in Hagerstown, Maryland. I'm at Old Town Treasures. I took the last parking spot. <laughs> Again, everybody is out, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go. It might be a little too chaotic in there for me, but let's give it a go. So it looks like they're getting ready for Fall Fest. Um, so it looks fully stocked in here. Oh my gosh, look at what's happened. I love these boots so much. And then this, this is a little velvet play suit. It is, how fun is that? Oh my gosh. And then like the little cheerleader sweater. How cute. Oh my gosh, I actually really like this sweater. That's not old, but it's still fun. Probably like 90s. And that's a really fun dress too. Very mod. What is this dress? I'm curious. Some really fun clothing. I know I'm not supposed to be looking at clothing, but oh my gosh, look at this terry cloth polo shirt. That's so fun. I've been getting really into more Victorian stuff. Notice this little blue glass vase right here. That's only $10 and 20% off for eight bucks. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. It's really sweet and I love enamel painting. So $8 on that. Ooh, look, milk glass fairy lamp. I don't do a lot of fairy lamps. I know people really like them, but... Oh, wow, that one's $12 and 20% off. Um, it doesn't look like it fits right, actually, now that I look at it again. Yeah, that's not correct. That's probably why it's less expensive. So I think I'm gonna leave that little milk glass piece. Um, I've had a lot of that recently. And then a little, that's fun, the crackle glass, that probably glows. I have my black light on me, but I kind of know it glows. So for $8, that's kind of fun. I'll take that. And I think that Fenton base back there is gonna be one of those fake out glow custards. Yeah, it's a little bit darker than the custard glass that glows. There's a lot going on in here. Uh, this little pottery piece is what I noticed. Not exactly what I thought, Japanese, that's sweet, but I thought it could be like uh, um, Ohio pottery. I, I'm not even sure what I'm thinking. <laughs> I feel like you guys know what I mean. Um, go back here. We're getting really close to the booth I like. Uh, this booth is 50% off except for the jewelry, and I remember the jewelry was the best thing in there, so I'm gonna bypass. This is where I really like to go. This is one of my favorite booths in here. They do not have a discount, it looks like right now. I'm looking at this Westmoreland, no, it's Indiana glass. That's funny, I would have thought in um, Westmoreland, $15 on that green jar, that's really fun. And then this is gonna be uranium, I'm assuming. Yes, it is uranium, $20 on that, that's not bad. Um, they got the little kitschy corner over here. The Bulldog's really fun. I looked at that before, it's a bank. And then these look like St. Clair. Joe Rice, 25. The color in that is kind of unexpected. 15 on that. It's kind of neat. Kind of reminds me of coffee and cream. Lucite napkin holder. Lots of amber pieces, very fall oriented, it's looking. See Viking Jesus up there. And then the little box, that's fun. I had that one in green not that long ago. Here's something I always enjoy. I love the old cottage cheese containers. That one's seen better days, but I love the graphic on it. This is a really pretty Faustoria piece. It says Fenton, but I feel like it's Faustoria. I could be mistaken. Love that color. 33. I think that's a little close, even with 15% off. What is that? It's kind of different. Oh, it's plastic. Just kidding. I thought it was going to be glass. And this, again, not what I thought. See the Blinko? I think that's, yeah, $50 on the Blinko. 20% off in this booth. It's kind of a hodgepodge. I like that, though. Uh, Chinese paperweight with damage. That's different. Looks like a baseball. Some milk glass. Not really seeing anything that 
This is kind of nice, this cobalt. This vendor always has so much crackle glass. This pitcher is nice. That one's only $9. And uh, the green is kind of fun. That's also at nine. I like this green one. That one's at 15. It's a nice emerald ivy green color. Hold up. 50% off on the red dots. So that means that this Fenton piece is $17.50, if I'm not mistaken. That's a good deal. I really like that. It's definitely larger than I like to ship, but for $17.50, I can't really say no. That did have a red dot on it, didn't it? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Here's another really nice piece, this cranberry coin dot. I mean, that opalescent hobnail. That one's at 25. That's not a bad buy either. Oh, this is one of my favorite pockets. This vendor has 30% off. That's a St. Clair. That's a really pretty one. That one's 25 and 30%. I want to do the math on that. I'm just kind of soaking it all in before I get slap happy. This is a really pretty fountain bird. That one's also at 25. A big blue bird of happiness, 32. And a little more bluebirds. Uh, Rose Bowl. I like the cranberry one. That one's a 35. Look at this lotion bottle. That is so fun. I love stuff like that. I have a bunch of it displayed in my bathroom. And then up here, this is definitely what I noticed the most. It's, it's missing the top, but it's such a great piece. Those are not easy to find. Um, they sell for good money if you can find them all together. And then another cranberry piece. This almost looks like it could be Blinko. Interesting. And then Fenton Uranium, $25. So 17 bucks, I'm just gonna triple check it, even though I kind of already know it glows. For 17 bucks, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be coming with us. Yeah, for sure. Hold on, red dots 50%, everything else 30. Oh my God, look at that giraffe. <laughs> I know it's contemporary, but it's so fantastic. Wow, I love him. It's a bottle holder. How perfect. And some really cute. I love the little jewelry box. Nice Viking piece. No, Ellie Smith, excuse me. Let's see. I always get those confused. They look like the Viking, too. What is this paperweight? This is very unusual. Oh, it's not. It's. it's that's really strange. It's got liquid in it. I don't mess with anything that has liquid in it. This is pretty, even though it's probably Chinese. Some really fun mid-century lamps. I like the duck, actually. And then what about this? $30, 30%, $369, 21 bucks. That's not a bad buy. I might get that, actually. Oh, no, it's got some damage. Uranium glass has been crazy hot. That owl clock is pretty fantastic, too, but it's actually this set of salt and pepper shakers in here that I just love so much. They would be $14. Those are so fantastic. Wow, I really like those. Those would be good as a buy it now. Oh, my gosh, what are these pigs? Norcrest. $8.99? What? And 10% off? Those are fantastic. Oh, we have to get one of the Norcrest pigs. I love him. Norcrest is kind of uh, harder to find, too. It's got a certain look to it. I like this one better. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna take the pig. Let's see what else we got in here. This is probably Swedish or Polish. I can't remember, maybe Swedish. Hmm, the little flock raccoons, so cute. This is a neat piece of pottery, crushed McCoy. And then I see the milk glass Westmoreland cat dish. I actually really like uh, this guy. He's really funny. Oh my gosh, there's some really good ones. Look at this. He's at $7. He's pretty fun. I think I'm gonna have to take him. He's got a great look to him. And then this milk glass face. That's 
that's really pretty. $13, 10%. That's not bad at all. I've seen a lot of those recently, though. I'm curious to see what this thing is. $35. Ooh. Yeah, that's hand-blown. That's kind of wild. I, I would have thought that might be Chinese, but... Oh, no, it's signed, too. Hold on. That is definitely signed. Stand by. All right, so it's signed and it comes to $23. It looks like it says Bruce Bergman only, almost. 901. That's pretty awesome. 23 bucks. You know what? I think I'm gonna take a chance on that. It's really fun. It's different. It kind of reminds me of cotton candy. And then here, this is one of my favorite sets of salt and pepper shakers. Unfortunately, it's missing the salt and pepper. So cute. And then this, I believe, is Indiana glass. This is really pretty. Carnival glass, sugar, and creamer, $15. Wow. It's kind of a good deal. It's kind of fun, too. I feel like it's supposed to have a lid, maybe. Oh, look what's happening here. I feel like I just had these. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, I feel like I just had them and I'm about to sell them and buy them back. These Norcross Owl Salt and Pepper Shakers are amazing. 35, so 33. And then look at these cat ones. $20, those are so cute. Um, I'm gonna look up what that sold for, I'm curious. This is amazing though. This one's $12 and uh, 15 per uh, 10%. These are actually really hard to come by. $12 uh, with the wings too. A lot of the times if you find them, they're missing the wings. I'm gonna get that, that's so cute. Yeah, so mine sold for 46. I actually think I could get more out of it if I just put it as a buy it now on Etsy. It's such a hard to find piece. Oh, I'm so tempted to get that. And I love these guys. I'm kind of like distracted by this. This is also very cool, this pen holder paperweight. Now in here, I decided to leave it since I just had one. I'm distracted by this Fenton tumble up pitcher. Um, looks like it's at 130 though. There's some really pretty Fenton in this case. And this is kind of an unusual piece. 15 on that. And then is about to check out and I saw this freaking cabbage rose bowl. That is so cool. $55, 30%. It's got a little wear to it, but really neat piece. And I almost missed the cat face. I wonder how much, oh, it said 30. I thought it was $12 and it's 30, 30 something. Oh well. A successful trip here at Old Time Treasures. It's about $110. And now I'm gonna go down the road to Weavers. We'll see you guys there.